I am the great Bubba. I am Bubba the Brewski. Huh? Look, the sign said lion. It should say Bubba. I play all the games. You know, last time I beat the president's trophy winner too. Huh? You can't be stopping me. Yeah. I, uh, I have my game face. Hmm? We're going to win. You ready? Here we go. They did it. I don't believe it. <laughs> Let's go, Panthers. Let's go, Panthers. Let's go, Panthers. Let's go. Panther fan soul. I feel good. I feel good. 5 1 Panthers. I'm just starting it right off with that. 5 1 Panthers. Like I said, usually my Panthers predictions in the playoffs. And, uh, I, I have a feeling we're going to come out in the first period. And I don't know if I want to say we're going to light it up, but I have a really good feeling about our first period. Now, a couple of things. Um, we hear Barkoff was sick the first couple of games. Okay, how about just giving us 50% in the face-off circle? All right? I get it. A lot of people are bitching. Maurice wants to kind of alleviate that a little bit, so he comes out publicly and says Barkoff was really sick the first couple of games. Okay. All right. How about better than 9 for 25 or whatever sad shape we were in in the face-off circle, okay, the other night? Let's start there. Lomberg. The hit to the face, he's out for the rest of the series. That's fine. Let him rest. We're going to need him against the Lightning round two. Bob is back in. The lines are exactly the same as they were the other night. Boston, much to uh, Ravens' chagrin, is continuing to go with Linus Allmark. It's so odd. It should be Linus. We all saw Charlie Brown, but it's Linus, so it is what it is. Here's the thing. I said this on the podcast. I've been saying it. I feel good. If we win this game, we're winning the series. Okay? So here's the shot glass that houses the prediction that the Panthers were winning in seven. Still in there. Okay? Until I fill this sucker with dessert wine and drink it, that prediction is still in there. If you're Boston, you got to figure Boston's going to try everything they know what to do to win this game in Florida because, oddly enough, they certainly – cannot be overconfident that, well, we'll get them back home because Florida can't beat us in Boston. That's not an issue. Now, I could say all of the things. I could say stay out of the box, make sure you, you know, take advantage of any mistakes that Boston makes, and Bubba needs to be Vesna Bob. I could say all of those things. But the truth of it is, win the game. Win the game. That's it. Do whatever you have to do in that moment, every second, every shift. Pay as close a possible attention as you can to what you're doing and what's going on on the ice around you. All of the cliches about all the things, of course, they don't want to, they want to stay out of the box. And of course, Bob wants to play well. But the bottom line is, the style that we play, the style that Boston plays, the players they have, the players we have, Focus. That's the key here. Okay? Remain focused. This last game, there was a little bit less of the the antics, okay? And the roughing and all of it. It was just a little bit less of that. A little bit more focus on what's going on on the sheet of ice while the clock is running. That's where the focus needs to be. So, I feel good. I feel good. I feel good. And look, yes, all the hope is there. It's 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 just loaded with hopium. What else am I supposed to do? What else are any of us supposed to do? I hope that building is loud. 5-1. And we're gonna win we're winning this series. We're gonna we're gonna beat this team. We can beat this team. Let's put it that way. We can beat this team. They are not invincible. All right, they're human. We, we, we beat them during the regular season. We're beating them here twice in the playoffs. We're going to beat them tonight. All right, all right. So
go. It is 2-1. I almost said one nothing for some reason. It's 2-1 Panthers after one. After trading power play goals. I told you I like Nick Cousins on that second line. Nick Cousins and Kachuk gets a 2-on-1. Cousins does the exact right thing. Kachuk, there wasn't really an open pass, so he shoots the puck. Allmark makes the save, and it goes right on Kachuk's stick, which where have we seen that movie before? And he puts it in the back of the net. It's 2-1 Panthers. And for the last four minutes of that period, when I say we were suffocating the Bruins, we almost got another one, too. Now... I'm happy that we have the lead. I'm not going to get too far ahead of myself because we definitely outplayed Boston in that period. I was definitely watching our guys do a lot more skating, especially in the short in the short areas to get to the pucks. We definitely were out skating them. The reason why I bring that up is I don't suspect that Boston's going to play two more periods of that manner of hockey. They're they're not stupid. This is a good team. So. We got a lead, and that's good, but that might be the worst hockey that Boston's going to play during this night. If it's not the worst hockey Boston plays, we're going to be back in Boston for Game 7 for sure. Um, Omark, I got I got a few Bruins fans in the chat. They're not happy that Swayman's not in. People are thinking Omark's a little bit tired. He has been sick. He has been hurt. I don't understand it either. Um, you've got Swayman, who's whose numbers are better than anybody the Panthers have at all. We, I mean, Swayman's numbers are, are damn, damn good. He was, what, top five, top ten in, 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 you know, all season long, right? It's a little, I, I'm, I'm not complaining, though. And I'm not saying Allmark's playing poorly, but he's clearly not playing at the same level he was playing at during the regular season. And remember, during the regular season, he was getting breaks because Swayman would come in. So it's a little bit odd, um, but it is what it is. All right, what do we got to do? Um, just keep, just expend every last ounce of energy that you got. Just pull this one off, guys. This game is here for the Panthers. This game is here for the Panthers to, t to take, okay? Um, Boston's got a good team. They got good coaches. I know they're going to come back out in the second period and give us hell. We're going to need more than two to win this game, but so far, so good. Three two Panthers after two. Now, a couple games ago, I took Bark off out of his spot and put Scott Mellenby in his place. Now, I ain't fixing to move Scott Mellenby because Scott Mellenby is the Rat King. So we're just gonna put Bark off right next to him. There we go. All right, Bark off with the goal. Bark off is feeling it, and you know who else is feeling it? Anthony Duclair looks pretty good out there on the ice. He's not like 100% where he was, but considering and comparing him to where he was even 5, 10 games ago, he, he's starting to look, he's starting to look good. He's starting to look good. Okay, so the hand pass. Look, Boston fans, I feel you. I, I, I mean that genuinely, okay? I'm a hockey fan. I know how it is when, when something goes like that against your team. The thing that got it for me was not the fact, I mean, yes, it was a finger pass. But he, he's down, he looks up, and he sees Bergeron coming, and then he moves his hand forward. The puck hits his finger, the puck moves forward. I mean, the rule is the rule is the rule, and I, and I get for you guys how that feels, but it is what it is. So, it's 3-2 Panthers after 2. We just had a penalty uh, right at the end of the period where Boston, we, we, they got two seconds left on the power play to start the period. So for all intents and purposes, we've killed it off as long as nothing stupid happens to start the third. We still need goals. This is still Boston. I mean, the goal that Pasta scored was like Kachuk-esque, okay? Um, so we're, we're going we're gonna to need four, maybe in five goals to win this game. Okay, I would be, I would be just, I don't know if I can survive winning this game 3-2 because the stress and the heart attack of, of a full 20 minutes of just protecting one goal lead might, that pretty much probably might kill me. All right, it's not going to be 5-1 Panthers. That I got wrong, but it was, it was six total goals 
I get that right a lot. So six total goals would be 4-2. I'd feel real comfortable at 4-2. That would be good for me. <sighs> Next time you see me, I'm going to be happy. said two. I blew it. I don't care. If you knew, <laughs> I almost stroked out. Like, for real, I almost stroked out. Like, I had to walk away from the stream after the game because I was close to stroking out. Head got all hot and I started sweating. I had, I had to go medicate a little bit because I got... If you, I probably put it out as a clip at the end of the stream. I might have got, I might have got excited in those last couple of minutes. I might have been yelling and screaming. I, I might have been. I might have got myself a little bit too worked up, but that's okay. So, I told you. Okay, I don't want to say I told you yet, but at the very least, I've got the number of games correct. I said Panthers in seven. Now, like I said on the stream, before we get to the game, like I said, I have a tendency sometimes to get some things right. Okay, so I said Panthers in seven, so we're at seven. However, the issue is I said Panthers in seven in triple overtime from Carter Verhage. So I would suggest if, if you were amongst those who believe in my predictive powers, I would make sure that you don't have anything going on right after when regulation is supposed to end. Because if I got it right, but if I got it right, we could be here a while on Sunday. They might want to start the game early. <laughs> No, do not start it early. I hate afternoon games. The Florida Panthers have now won two straight against the Boston Bruins. The big, bad, precedence trophy Boston Bruins. And we're going back to Boston for game seven. And did you see anything on that ice tonight that makes you think that this team can't win that game? We are, I'm not saying we're taking it to Boston because they, they, they spent half the time taking it to us too. Okay? But... These are two evenly matched teams. I don't care what the names are. I don't care what the records are. We was even during the regular season, and we was even now. We've played 10 games. It's 5-5, five, five, okay? And they've scored 7 on us. We've scored 7 on them. I'm t we're evenly matched with the Boston Bruins. just happens to be that well, some of the other teams we don't match up so well against, so they but this team we can beat. Just is what it is. Now this game, this game, okay, was three two. At the when I, last time you saw me, it was three two, and I was sane. Then it was three three. Then we were losing four three. Then we tied it four four. Then we were losing five four. And then we tied it five five. And then we get the last one, make it six five. And then we get the empty net to make it seven five. Right. Did I get it right? I don't know. Holy crap. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Now, I don't know what Boston's going to do at goaltender. That's one big question. Leave a comment if you're a Boston fan, especially what you want, because I know some of uh, you were upset that Allmark was still playing. But do you give the guy six games and then switch to Swayman in game seven? You're going to just bring the guy, you know, rusty off the bench for game seven? Here, here's... Here's the entire President's Trophy season on your ass, Jeremy. Go go win a game. I mean, it would make a great storyline for you guys, but I'm not so sure that's... So I think, my opinion, you'd probably say it all, Mark. Before anybody asks any questions, I know Bob gave up five goals. You're putting Bob out there game seven, okay? It's not like they were bad goals, all right? I mean, so, they were happening so rapidly. Um, what I know is that Boston had another breakaway and he stopped it. That's what I know. Okay? So, you know, goals were scored. But I, there's, no, there's no way in hell. I, I mean, no, nothing against Alex Lyon, but game seven, you go, we're going with Bubba. Right, Bubba? I stick up for you, Bubba. All right? You go with Bubba game seven. Matthew Kachuk, as we all know, we all know. But there's some other guys on this team. First of all, that was Radko Gudis. Okay, that was Rad Cole Gudis saving a goal, all right, 
in front of the net. Don't forget that. That was E2 Lusterain and Lusterain, depending on how you want to say it. That was E2 just refusing, absolutely refusing to let the Bruins get out of the zone. Single handedly, three Bruins in the zone, only Lusterain in the zone, and he somehow keeps them from getting out of the zone. I don't even know how that's mathematically possible, but we all saw it. And then he added to the mix, why don't I just stick one in the net while I'm in the, as long as I'm here in the zone, why don't I just, you know, why don't I just stick it in and swish it all around and rub it all around and it got all warm and fuzzy. Holy hell. I forgot also who else scored. I don't even know who got the banked in empty net goal because I was completely useless at that point. I just apoplectic. I just compl I, I was afterwards. I literally, you know, if you guys have ever had a heart attack, you know, the arm goes numb. You start getting that band around the head. Now I got the band around the head, and the arm was kind of like we're about to. Um, you might want to sit the fuck down, Jaws. Okay, so I took a breath, and I took all the couple things that you breathe, and I feel better now. I'm good. I'm good. Don't worry. I got a little carried away. Um. And who can blame me? I mean, it's one thing you win game six, but that was insane. We carried a lead into the third period. And then we had to come back twice from being down, right? Yeah. And then we won. Who is this team? Now, I'll tell you who this team is. I'll tell you who this team is. And I'm going to tell you why I have a certain affinity for Paul Maurice now. So hear me out. Hear me out. Now... Before the season started, I laid out how it was going to go every 20 games. You guys know the deal. I made a prediction. I said every 20 games, this, 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 this. And it hasn't gone exactly as I planned. It took longer than I wanted it to. But eventually, um, in terms of the arc of what I had predicted, it's going exactly how I said. Now, the reason why I say that gives me an affinity for Maurice is because he had a plan that he told us all. And it did the exact same thing my plan is doing, which is it took a little bit longer, it didn't go exactly as planned, but eventually it's looking exactly like what he said. So I I kind of feel like, okay, we, we this is something. This we have something here. If this when we win nine even say if, when the Panthers win game seven, this team is winning game seven. We're gonna beat this team. I, I, we're, we're winning this series. We're winning this. We're winning this series. Just, I'm going to look at the camera and say it again. We are winning. I can't look at the camera. I'm cross eyes myself. We're winning this series. Now, what else did we see today? Oh, my God. <laughs> yes. What, what, what the hell else did we see? All right. Let's just, just, just going to go down the line so I can think here. Okay. Barkoff, look, looked better. He earned his spot. I love it. Beautiful. Duke is, he was at about 75% of whatever he used to be. I would say he's in about 90% now. Certainly, if he plays like that, and we win game seven, when we win game seven, if we get a healthy Duke playing at that level, we have something, Okay. Now, second line, Kachuk, Bennett, you knew all the drill. But there's Nick Cousins. I knew I liked that move as soon as Maurice did it. I knew I liked it because that, that line, and I talked about this on the stream, what Nick Cousins does, and I want him to stay there and hear me out. Nick Cousins, what he does for Bennett and Kachuk is what Marchment did for Lundell and Luce Lerina. That's who Nick Cousins is on that line. Leave it. Leave it. There's, there would be no reason in hell to change that at all. Now you get to the third line. Lundell had a nice night. Reinhardt didn't screw anything up. <laughs> he was good. He, was, he, he Nobody was really great in the face-offs. I know Reinhardt had one opportunity that he didn't bury. Um, but... That for all I know, he's the one that banked the, the, the empty net goal that I don't know what happened. Stahl was starting to take some face-offs when we weren't doing that well. 
He did good. Colin White was active. Everybody was active, okay, on the defense. Forsling and Ekblad had a couple of moments. They're going to have their moments. Brandon Montour. I mean, this dude, I hope we can afford to keep him, right? Because Forsling and Montour both need contracts, and they ain't going to come cheap. But I think now Montour is going to be getting more money than Forsling. So, um, and then Mohura and, and then Gudis. Gudis, Radko Gudis saving the season in front of the net. All right? It was a gaping hole. And he took that, and he just he just got in front of it. So, so, at the end of the stream, we had like 170 people. So I just want to say thank you all for coming. I really, really appreciate that. A lot of people were throwing money at us, the Super Chats. Genuinely, genuinely, really. The hat, the hat is off. I'm going to shave this fresh for Sunday, that's for sure. But my hat is off to you, everybody that... That leaves those donations and those super chats. It's absolutely huge. Last thing I'll say, because this is long enough, it's late enough. Here's the last thing I'll say. This is for you look at the names on the back of the jerseys for the Panthers and the Bruins. You look at the names. Forget forget everything else. You look at the names. And you look at Boston, you look at Florida, and you look at Boston, look at Florida, and you think, come on. Come on now. This ain't. Look at there's no way this can beat this. Okay. That same exact disparity. All I'll say is that go back to when the Panthers made the cup in '96 and look at the names on the back of the jerseys on the Bruins and the Flyers and the Penguins and look at ours. And it's the same thing. You look at them and you say, What? Come on, there's no way. Yeah, we did that no way three times until we ran out of gas against the Avalanche. Like I said on the podcast today, there ain't no Colorado Avalanche of 96 in that Western Conference right now. It ain't there, okay? It ain't there. So, we're winning game seven. And this glass... That houses the prediction that the Panthers were winning the Stanley Cup from the beginning of the season. Still, that's the only thing I can put in that glass right now. I cannot put any liquid in that glass because that prediction is filling up that glass right now. All right. We're winning game seven on Sunday. I don't know what time it's going to be. I'm going to try to make sure I don't die. Because I almost did it to myself tonight. That would really suck if I died on the live stream in front of my son. So I, I'll try to not do that. But holy crap, the ending of that game, I definitely got to make a highlight clip of the, the, from the third period. I mean, I got carried away, even for me. <laughs> I, I did. I did. And that, I mean, that's saying something. If you've been watching this channel, I know I got carried away. <laughs> okay. So, um, we're winning game seven. I'm not making a score prediction right now. Did I get it even remotely close? Well, what did I say? I said 5-1. Well, I knew we were going to score a lot. That's, that's about as much as I got right, and plus the Panthers won. That's okay. All right, Stu and I will be back in the morning. Stu desperately tried to come on to the live stream. He was in the car. It just wasn't working out. They could kind of hear him. I couldn't. Then I couldn't, and they, it was just not working out. So... Stu and I will be back in the morning. I say this every time. I'm going to try to make some other kind of content for the regular channel. When I say that, when you know, not the podcast. I'm going to try to have something else out either um, tomorrow or Sunday. But then we don't know what time the game is Sunday. Also, obviously, tomorrow, Toronto, Tampa, Kyle and I will be streaming. We'll be much more relaxed. We'll be much more relaxed tomorrow night. Because we're ready, man. We're absolutely ready. And then when we win Game 7 on Sunday, because Tampa's winning tomorrow, then our Game 7 will be Sunday. We will win. Tampa will beat the Leafs on Monday. And then I suspect that series at that point would start maybe Friday? Maybe Thursday? No, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, probably Friday. So that that's what I that's what I'm anticipating at this point is is 
what I just said. Alright. I'll see you in the morning, and then I'll see you tomorrow night, and then I'll see you Sunday. Oh, 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 oh yes.